All right, guys, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the day. So if that's possible, please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I did a video on this a week or two ago saying I'm not bullish on um, GameStop anymore. I think it's just in a downturn. It's going to keep making lower highs and lower lows. Um, you had a little bit of a rally this week up to 132. But uh, last time I looked at this, this was at $118 a week or two ago. Now it's at 115 So if you took the short on it, like I said, maybe you should do. Um, you, you'd probably be at break even because it's only gone down three bucks, but you definitely probably wouldn't be losing money unless the short was supposed to end, <laughs> you know, a week later. But if you did a short for like a year, you'd probably be at break even right now. Um, I personally think, and I will personally be taking a short on this if it falls back down to a hundred bucks. Um, I thought I had an alert there at a hundred bucks, I'm not sure what happened, but. Yeah, I don't know what happened, so I'll have to look at that again. But if it goes below 100 bucks, I'd be interested in doing and in buying and uh, shorting this. I should say, not buying it, because um, the chart just doesn't look good. It's in a major downtrend and just keeps making lower lows and lower highs. So I personally think probably in a year from today we're well below 50 bucks. I, you know, that's just I think GameStop is a dying breed. It had a short squeeze because I think everyone was thinking it's going to zero um, because everyone especially during COVID when it had that short squeeze was like, well, no one's going to be buying, going to the store to buy games. Everyone will do it online or on their Xbox. Cause I know I, in three or four years when I play Xbox, I haven't used a, a, a disc to play it with. I just do it from the downloaded games on the, on the store. So that's what a lot of people were thinking. And then you got the short squeeze and then now you're slowing going down. And I think this time it's actually going to oblivion. Now I guess if everyone thinks I could do another short squeeze, but personally, I think I just don't see it happening. Um, let's go to the RSI and see what that's looking like. Cause when it does go below 30, it probably will get some sort of bounce. Even if long-term it's going to keep going down short-term, there could be a dead cat bounce. Um, the RSI is still at 47. So that's still neutral. So it's definitely not oversold yet. And the three day chart is currently at 38. So that's closer to oversold. Anything below 30 is oversold. Um, and usually when you get that low, you do get some sort of bounce. Um, but the chart doesn't look good. Um, the 12 hour chart, according to the Ghana pants is showing that it's an uptrend. Um, but We'll see how long that lasts. I'm not very. I'm not gonna think that that's actually gonna keep playing out. The target to the downside. I mean, you do have support right here at a hundred dollars. So if you lose that, like I said, I'd be taking a short on that. And to the upside, if it were to keep going up, um, one hundred fifty dollars is the target. I personally think you'd go lower. Um, but you know, if you're if you like this, if you like GameStop long term, then I guess a hundred bucks would be a good time to get in. Um, but if you, if you don't believe in it long term, if it loses a hundred bucks support, I do think you come down all the way down to 60 bucks within a few, probably a few weeks. So with that being said, that's all I got. Usually I don't do videos on stocks. Um, but GameStop is one that I think could be a great short play, but I guess we'll see. Um, it is risky. So none of this is financial advice and please do your own research before buying or investing any coin or any, any stock as well. I'll see you guys in the next update.